Hello, everybody, and thank you for being here with me in one more session of Ask the Experts. Today, I am very excited with wonderful news that um, I, they haven't been even officially announced. Uh, so I'm taking a little bit of a risk here, but I'm pretty sure you will all enjoy this very good news in this session that I have titled Evaluating Your Theories of Family Relativity. So you know already what is this going to be about. First, uh, introductions as always. Uh, my name is Daniel Horowitz and I have been dedicated to genealogy since 1986. I was the teacher and study guide editor of the Family History Project Searching for My Roots in Venezuela for 15 years. I am involved in crowdsource digitization and transcription projects. I hold a board level position at the Israel Genealogy Research Association. And foremost, I am working at MyHeritage since 2006 with great pleasure and today I am the genealogy expert, the liaising with genealogy societies, uh, bloggers, media, and lecturing all over the world. Uh, today, at least virtually like we used to do in this uh, Ask the Expert session. And if you are familiar with this type of sessions, you should know that this is a hands-on uh, normally, I will go straight to the website and I will show you uh, what is what we have new here. But because today is DNA, um, I have prepared in advance a little bit of a presentation. But believe me, I spent the whole night doing this uh, with screen captures from the website because I want you to have just the real deal. So I'm going to myheritage.com slash DNA uh, or from the menu in the um, website from the DNA menu, you can go into the DNA matches uh, because the theories of family relativities are related to the matches. And here uh, you will be able to see how many matches you have, but also you will be able to filter those matches. And one of the filters that I have applied already here is for those matches that have already a theory, meaning that my heritage already thought uh, what the connection between you and the other person uh, was. Now you can, of course, uh, do this also by relationship or by location, by ethnicity, or by genetic groups, which is actually the uh, latest addition that we have in this filter, meaning that if you want to see only those that uh, share with you a specific area, not an ethnicity completely, but a, a place like a, a Bulgaria, for example, you will be able to see all the matches that match that place or uh, even a city or a town or a specific place over there. Now, I will recommend you always, no matter what, to contact, uh, if you have both, uh, the donor of the DNA, but also the admin who is actually managing this DNA sample and try to figure out between both of you the information that you both have over there. But let's go straight to the place where you will see the uh, uh, theories of family relativity, which actually will be either from the first line here in the summary. As you can say here, it says, Brian Jansen is my fourth cousin, according to the theory of family relativity. And I have actually one, uh, more than one theory right there. Or when you click on the review DNA match, that is where the first part is going to be dedicated to the theories of uh, family relativity. So what are those theories? It's actually uh, a, a path that my heritage found 
between you and your DNA match that can go through family trees or historical records. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we take all the family tree, the huge family tree that we have in our servers, and we compare the ones that you have in your website, and we try to find jumps or connections between all those family trees and records to prove how you, you are re related. Now, the good thing is, or the best, better thing is, that because family trees and records may have multiple uh, people or, or duplicate people in the database, we can find more than one path to prove that this person is really related to you. All the information taken into account is coming both from my heritage family trees or from the records that we have that also includes family search and genie trees, uh, wiki trees as well, and birth, marriage, death, migration, military, and all kinds of records. Uh, right now, we're talking about 14 billion historical records available there. Where do you find it? Well, I already show you that on the match page, on the summary, you will find out a link to that or in the review DNA match page. This is how it's going to look. And here, this is the place where I'm very excited to show you what's new. And this is a feature that many of you have been asked for for a long time and here as you can see we're actually asking you if this theory is correct or not and we may be wrong we may be right but now you can actually say and you can actually push the button and say yes this is correct I confirm or I reject no you didn't nail it now, sometimes it may be difficult just from this image, uh, although it's, it's wonderful to see how I am connected with Brian, uh, but I need more details. And, and just because I'm showing here this path, uh, it doesn't mean that I will agree or not with it. I would like to know a little bit more. And that is what my heritage is going to give you when you're able to see the full theory. And here, we're gonna let you know exactly how we found that you're both related. In this case, uh, of course, that this is a demo case between myself and Brian Jansen, which uh, if you are, again, familiar with this, uh, you know that Brian Jansen is my alter ego. So uh, what do I see here in the top left? First, that I have more than one theory. And it's important to say that confirming or rejecting this one, it doesn't necessarily confirm or reject the second one. So I will need to go into each theory and confirm or reject any of them or both of them. Uh, right here, yes, right here is where we are putting the two buttons to confirm and reject. And you can, of course, confirm. And you can further on do for more research and you can come here uh, and you can always undo this and you can say, no, I, I was mistaken. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not true. I will reject it. But if this is correct, we will suggest you to go to the family tree uh, that is involved in the middle and extract the information, meaning visiting the different smart matches that we found between the trees and making sure that you can extract the information into your tree so you will have this path also in your tree. If this is not correct, and sometimes uh, because we depend in other people's family tree and the records, and if you have a John Smith from the 1800s, believe me, it's very difficult to find out if this is your John Smith or somebody else John Smith. Uh, it may be wrong, so you can reject, and that rejection is going to uh, appear right there. And always, you can go and undo that. Now, you will notice that for one match or for one theory, we can find more than one path. And this is because we can jump 
between different family trees or different records. And still, each path is going to be confirmed with this theory. So you will not need to confirm or reject by path. You only confirm or reject by theories. Um, and I'm again, I'm very, very excited because now I can go actually over my theories, not that I have a many, but now if I accept or reject them, I will be able to see them right out here in the summary. And uh, hopefully all the um, theories that you have are going to be correct and confirmed, and you're gonna be able to uh, see that here as confirmed. Uh, now, I already know that you have questions, uh, more than general questions, questions about this uh, confirming or rejecting the theories of family relativities. And you're gonna say, okay, so what else? Well, for now, this is it, okay? Uh, we're going to learn from your confirmation and from your rejection, uh, and we are going to come with uh, more features based on that confirmation or rejection, uh, and probably you will be able to just extract the information in one shot, uh, or by rejecting, you will be able to filter uh, probably this in the near future uh, and say, I only want to see those confirmed uh, theories. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure because this is really new. This has less than 24 hours out. But uh, knowing that we have this uh, uh, meeting every Thursday, 1 p.m. Uh, in New York time, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to allow you to see what you already are able to do. So uh, before I open the microphone, let me go over a few announcements that I have here for you. Uh, the first one is just to remind you about the latest collection that we released uh, on MyHeritage, which is the Austro-Hungarian uh, Roman Catholic and Vienna Catholic Church records. And although they are church records, you may find their other religions records depending on the year. So those are 10.7 million records that you should look and search and hopefully find your family right there. Otherwise, just visit the knowledge base under education.myheritage.com. And I already wrote the link uh, in the chat so you can have the different links and copy and paste that over there you will find articles you will find webinars you will find recordings of these uh, sessions that you can go over downloadable material and all this you can do for free not even a registration is needed uh, so if you know anybody else who is willing and wanting to learn about genealogy in general or my heritage, it's a wonderful suggestion. The other one will be the familytreewebinars.com, the legacy webinars page, where you will also find all the previews and future my heritage webinars, as well as others uh, from different subjects and different lecturers. Finally, the always invitation to everybody, both if you are in the Zoom, if you are in Facebook, or if you're watching this as a recording, to register. One registration will give you free access to every meeting that we have every Thursday, 1 p.m. New York time, no matter where in the world you are. So, now it's time to allow you to unmute yourself. And I know and I see that Sandy already knows the drill. She already uh, raised her hand. So hello, Sandy, how are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. And what great news. This is going to be really, really helpful Don't on you so think? many levels. But I do have a question for you. Go ahead. And uh, that is... So many people copy my trees, both here and in other places. And so let's say out of uh, 
uh, 12 people, eight have copied my tree. How do you weight your theories of relativity, of family relativity? Do you give more uh, weight to if you see it 15 times or uh, is that counted as one? Not at all. Like each different tree will be a different path. And if we notice that different trees don't really add a different path because they copied everything, uh, we will take and, and we will always start with you, with your tree. So we will go through your tree up and as farther as we can go. And then we try to find connections with others. So if others are really copying whatever you have, uh, probably we will not even, I mean, yes, we will take them in consideration, but because they are not really adding anything new to a path, we will not even show it. Fantastic. You do everything right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we try, we try. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Sandy. And I see my good friend, David, also. Dave uh, raising his hand. Good afternoon or good morning, the, <laughs> whatever it is. Good, good night uh, for me, but it's OK. <laughs> uh, great advice last week to get me straightened out on uh, you know, ditching all my old stuff and re-uploading re you know, re my family tree. But it keeps asking me for the kit. Well, it shows four, three DNA kits, uh, from none from my heritage, but I know I did a, my heritage test. But how do I find out what my test number is? It's, it's showing me that I'm related to some person um, with 3,500 uh, centim by 30, with 3,500 centimorgans, and I know that's my son, but it doesn't have his name. And then there's bunches of other links here. I, I don't know that I okay. did this right, um, but okay, you're here so to straighten me out. Oh, uh, one more let thing. Me see. in a red yeah, bar, yeah. Go ahead. in a red bar at the red bar at the top, it says you are managing DNA kits that are unassigned. That's what and... I imagine. So ah, okay. uh, first step uh, under DNA, when yes. you put your mouse here, you will see a drop down menu and over there you will be able to see manage DNA or DNA kits. And over there, you're gonna see a list of all the DNA kits that you have either taken or uploaded. And if there is any okay. that they are not being assigned, you will be able to assign them to a person. Uh, and, and you should be able to see the kid number as well. And I'm gonna give you a, a, a trick here. If yeah. the kids start with MH, it means my heritage. And if it starts with FT, oh. It means family tree family DNA. Tree. If it starts, starts with AC, it means ancestry. Uh, and if it starts with 23, guess what? It's uh, 23 what would that me. be? What would yeah. that be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first, you need to make sure that all the kids over there are assigned to somebody. And, and that somebody should be in your tree. Then the second thing I'm going to tell you is that right here next to your name, and, and you should see here that says this is you, there should be a small arrow. And when you click on that arrow, you should see a drop down menu that will allow you to choose the different individuals that you want to see the matches for the kids that you have uploaded. OK, so probably what you're getting now, it's a match with the DNA kid that has not been assigned. And actually that is a trick itself because if you have three kids that have not been assigned, uh, my question to you is how do you know which one is which, right? right. So by the matching, if the one matching you 50% and you know that uh, you didn't upload your father or your brother or sister, then almost for sure that kid belongs to your son. And, and that is how you should be able to identify the different kids and the different matches. Well, my pr first problem is I don't know what page you're on. I don't see my name anywhere. Uh, when you, when um, you click on, on DNA, you are yeah. going to land on overview. And in yeah. here, you can go to DNA matches or from the DNA menu, you have also another option to go to DNA matches. Okay, DNA matches. Okay. And then well, you should see your name here with saying this is you. Okay. Unless and... one of the kids not assigned is yours. 
So we don't know that that kid is yours. <laughs> so this is you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's 16,433 DNA matches out there, and I'd like to at least look at the first 20, 10,000 at least. <laughs> but, yeah. No, no. Um, but first, first straighten out the kids and make sure yeah. that you have assigned to the right people and yep. that you can uh, browse and change the views for yourself, for your son's kid, and all the others that you are managing. So I'm, I've only uploaded DNA kits uh, that are mine. So anything I see here, there's not, there's like 10 or 12 of them here. There's two or three that are unassigned. So I, I can reassure myself that those are, I can assign those to myself, correct? Um, well, yes. If those are yours, yes. Then, mm -hmm. then you will see this arrow here next to the 999 that I have here as a demo. Mm -hmm. That will allow you to swap between kits. Okay. Okay, so, so if you have your own MyHeritage, Ancestry, Family Tree DNA, and 23andMe, you will be able to see the matches between each of those kids. Would, and I, I apologize for being thick-headed today, but I followed your directions. I clicked on DNA. Um, did I miss something? I have to click on DNA Overview? Uh, no, you are. If you click on DNA, you are in Overview. You're okay. seeing your uh, your ethnicity estimation, so you need to come here and to click into DNA matches to get to the same page that I am right now. Okay. When I, well, I don't have. I, I'm sorry, but I don't have the same looking look here. I've got DNA, and I have to get a drop down menu that says DNA matches. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Did that. That and... will work, and you don't okay. see something like this. No. No, I don't see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, just, that's very strange I because yeah. I I did that yesterday and I'm willing to do it uh, again. You know what? Let me do it right here again and live with you. I'm just going to uh, blow this so no personal information will be revealed. If I click here DNA, yep. okay, you should be seeing this. It says overview. Mm -hmm. Okay, and ethnicity estimation, and here yep. my DNA matches. Mm -hmm. And if I either go here to DNA matches or here, the, the result will be exactly the same. Uh, I hope uh, I'm well, not revealing anything. I mean, the first one exactly is myself and my mother. Okay, that's it. And, and, I, and I honestly don't want to take up all this much time, but I don't have the same screen that you have, I've got a, uh, my screen has got a, well, it's got the red warning that I've got a test that's on the sign, but below that, there's a dark gray banner. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and you don't have a dark gray banner. And my name is here. Well, um, this, this one is, will be the dark gray with my I'm name sorry. here. Oh, I've got, I don't have my, I got it slid up a little bit. Okay. So there's the dark gray and, and where was that? My name should be, okay, my name is there. Your name should be up here. Yeah. And, and if you don't see your name here, and if you don't see this, yeah. uh, for some reason, we are not identifying you with your DNA sample. Okay, I've got my image, I've got my name, and right to the right of it, neck before I get to the drop-down key, it, it says kit number. If I hit the drop-down key, it shows three kits, okay. none of which are MH. So maybe those are the three I've got. Those are the before. ones that you uploaded to you. Correct. Right. So I may have to find those other kits and get them assigned to myself. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, if I can't figure this out, I'll talk to you next week or at the next conference I meet. See you. Well, by the way, I, that's I where really, we're going next year. I really look forward for a conference. Believe me, I, I have my suitcase ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Nurk is going to Springfield in twenty three, so that's uh, why I got the Springfield image behind me. Well, so we, come on we down, have, everybody. We'll get that ready. We soon. have twenty two first, okay? Let's well, I know, go but, one year at a time. I know Nurk. Nurk, Nurk is only around every other year. So yes, yes. You got to wait till twenty. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm done. No worries. I'm done. I don't want, no more time. No more time. All right. No worries. Any other thank questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. With pleasure, always, and you know that I will be here, hopefully. Uh, so help me God. Uh, next week at the same time. Anybody has any other questions? And again, I would like to remind all of you watching this on a recording or in Facebook, um, it's free, the registration. So why not come here and join with us? 
Um, I think I see Bert wanting to talk. Hi, Bert. You will need, to, oh, okay. You already unmute yourself. Hi, what's your question today? Well, I was just a little bit late for the start of this presentation. So I'd like to know where that recording can be found. Wait, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Say that again. This uh, session has been recorded. That's right. Where can I, where can I find it? Because I missed the, the start. Okay, so uh, one option is immediately after it ends, uh, on Facebook, on my Facebook, appears right away. I don't have Facebook. Uh, so that's one option. The other option is I try to keep updating the uh, knowledge base, education.myheritage.com, mm -hmm. uh, but it will take me a couple of weeks because I'm a little bit back up over there. Okay, right. Okay. Well, I was wondering simply because this new option, which I saw, uh concerning the theory of relativity i don't see it in my dutch version probably okay the rollo has not been done worldwide probably okay so no no uh what it may happen and and let me go again step by step you need to go into the filters yeah. okay right here yeah. and you need to select has theory of family <laughs> relativity now what it like if you don't do, do you see matches yes. with theories yes i do but it doesn't look any different than it was a couple of weeks ago and it's okay it's nothing there's nothing like confirmed and so on uh that's according to you don't the first cousin for you don't see this when you go into the review dna match this here that says confirm or reject Yes, that, I do. Okay, yeah. so there you have it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Misunderstood the whole thing. Okay. Not a, not a problem, Bert. Not a problem. Um, okay, any other questions? Or you are going to allow me to no, I'm, I'm happy. set free uh, earlier. Uh, I still have a couple of minutes. I can still answer actually any question okay don't limit it only to dna or theories of relativities pat yes what's your question completely off subject go ahead i every so often check the ethnicity on my heritage family free dna i've got a whole bunch of us scattered out all of a sudden i popped up with as Ashkenazi Jew for Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. and also uh, in the Brazilian forest. Okay. These, this is something um, the Jewish I can I can deal with, but how did they get the DNA out of the Brazilian forests? Uh, well, uh, first, I will need to ask if this was my heritage ethnicities. No. Okay. No. Uh, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, each company has samples of DNAs identified to different regions. And we compare your DNA to those samples. And we use that as a ruler. And the more you resemble that sample, uh, we can say that you are X percent from that place okay basically right. that's if, how it works if you happen to have the same thing and the other ones how low does it have to go of a match before they don't show up as a match how for the small? for the ethnicities yes how small uh, does it have to be it will it depends it will depends in each company but i i know that we at least give you even a, a half percent from a certain hmm. region. This one okay. sounds wrong then. Uh, it okay. may be, it may be like sometimes we all do mistakes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, thank, right, you, thank you, Pat. Uh, and uh, very fast, uh, Megan. Yeah. Yes. What's your question? My question, why well, I put it in chat because my husband is making noise, but he quit making noise. So 
Okay, my theory of relativity came up and it came exactly like you said, but when it starts from the my heritage, it has a it says deleted tree and then it goes on and all the information is correct. And I have like for this one, I know it's it's my second cousin. I know that's who it is and I know the information is correct. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what tree did it connect to? Okay. Because... So let me let me explain you what's happening here. Like we calculate the theories every couple of months. Okay. Uh, and we don't refresh that until the next batch. But okay. if in the middle somebody deleted a tree, the theory is still there, but uh -huh. the, the actual tree we identified as deleted. Uh, okay. so, so you will not be able to visit a tree or to contact the admin and probably we will not be even able to tell you who was it. Uh, because yeah. when somebody wants to delete the tree, we just follow orders and, and we delete it. That's okay. uh, one of the advantages of my heritage. Okay. In a way. So my question would be, should I keep that theory or wait until it refreshes well, again? You, you cannot delete the theory. You uh -huh. can either accept or reject it. That's uh, it. Okay. For now, this is baby steps. One step okay. at a time. We added the possibility to accept or reject. Uh, later on, we hope to be able to do more things. So if I reject it, it'll make it go away? Nope, not yet, okay. at least. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank Excellent. You. My pleasure. Thank you very much. And last question, uh, Sabine or Sabina or Sabine. You will need to unmute anyhow. Sabine, Sabina, Sabine. You need to unmute to ask your question. And I will be more than happy to answer. Even if we are over a few minutes. Hi, Sabine. Hello, hello. You can talk. You are already on mute. No, but we don't hear you. No, no, we see your hand. We know you don't have camera. Probably you don't have microphone either. Okay, uh, very sorry for that, but uh, just uh, look what's going on with your equipment. Make sure that you can have a microphone that will work uh, in Zoom. And I hope to see you and everybody else next week uh, at the same time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or, or daily time, New York time, whatever time it is, uh, for another session of Ask the Expert. Until then, please take very good care of yourself and your family. And why not do a little bit more of genealogy? Goodbye, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend.